Welcome to this review of the March 2015 t-shirts from GeekSubscriptionBox.com Here you'll see the t-shirts that I received this month from six different boxes. You'll notice there are seven t-shirts and that's because one of the boxes had two t-shirts in it. Now, unfortunately, although I've waited as long as I can, there are still two boxes which haven't arrived in the UK, both sent from the US. So, unfortunately, I haven't got the Loot Crate t-shirt to compare with, or the Geek Fuel t-shirt. But the other boxes from the US all arrived in good time, so I don't know what's holding those ones up. But you can see these all sorted, and let's run through what we've got. So here we have Dixon Motorcycle Repair, so that's Walking Dead, and that was in Horror Block. Here we have two t-shirts. These were from Arcade Block. The actual one that came with the subscription was Radio Free Kyrat. And the additional one is a bonus t-shirt. Now, different subscribers got a different t-shirt for that, so your mileage may vary. Here is the nerd block t-shirt this is a slice of fried gold which is a picture from Sean on the dead it was Simon Pegg month in that box let's keep moving down here we have get a life the Mario t-shirt now that one came from let's just confirm super loot it's a UK box you can also move across to this one, a TARDIS, which was Infinity Crates, another UK box, and also this final one here was from the Zavi Z box, which is another UK box. So we've really got a 50-50 divide there between the UK boxes and the international boxes. I think all the nerd block group are from Canada, but we'll say North American to be on the safe side. So. What do I like this month and what do I dislike? Well, first of all, seven t-shirts is quite a lot. They'll keep me going for quite a long time because I wear work clothes a lot of the time. So which ones will I wear? I suspect the one that I'm least likely to wear, there's two of them. Unfortunately, as great as uh, this t-shirt is here, then I don't tend to go around with these over emblazoned t-shirts with pictures of people on them it's just not my style but I know lots of people who love Shaun of the Dead, I love the film too but just can't imagine wearing it so that will soon find a good home uh, and unfortunately I've just got to say the UK t-shirts do look cheap compared to the other ones I think mainly because they're all one colour if you take a look they're all one colour background one colour text, various qualities of design Whereas look at all the US ones, I think these are all three colours at a glance. Whether any of them scrape four, I'm not sure. There's certainly three colours. I think perhaps Radio Free Kyrat may scrape slightly more, although the variants on that sort of purpley colour there. Certainly three colours there. And um, I think that's three colours, maybe four, including the upper to white. But... You notice the efficiencies in printing, because I've done a bit of t-shirt design and t-shirt printing in my time. Well, okay, which is the, the cheap looking one? It's this one from the Zavi Z box. This is like cheap white t-shirt with an iron-on transfer. It looks like something that you could make at home with a t-shirt transfer and an iron. Uh, I know perhaps that's the desire of it being meant to look old and traditional, but I just can't imagine wearing that t-shirt and perhaps it'll be worn underneath or something but that's about it uh, now in terms of the others I'll show you my my favorite t-shirts I, I do like this gaming one here just the design really suits me uh, I do like the Mario mushroom just because I'm always for someone who likes simple designs as a simple design Nice white text there, uh, nice visible, hopefully it washes well. Uh, and I do like this one because again I like the simple designs just be, just because, because I'm a Doctor Who fan as well, and this one isn't too in your face. 
So probably it's these three here, which will be the ones that get worn the most. And I mean, these are very two bold designs. I'll certainly uh, get worn in some form, but because I'm not particularly familiar with the game that Radio Free Kyrid is based on, uh, and not so much a Walking Dead person, then to me this is a little bit too bold. So it's quite a mixed bag of t-shirts. I think there are two or three that are real winners. I I think there's one there which is a good t-shirt but not for me. Uh, and one here which is a real loser. But really when you think about what's being paid for a Geek subscription box to get t-shirts of any of these quality, then it's amazing you get those and so much other gear included within those crates. So take a look, some nice t-shirts. Hopefully next month I'll have some others arrived for the t-shirt roundup. But let's sign out there from geeksubscriptionbox.com and the t-shirt roundup.